Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day, happy Diamond Day. We got Diamond Kings coming at you from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is 12 box inner case, random team number one. Let's see right here, no vet commons will ship. Everything else will, and there's an early bird special here too. So if you bought one of the first 20 spots, like these wonderful people did, then you've got a shot at that early bird spot. So let's get all the names here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Snake Eyes. Name on top. After two, we'll get an extra spot. One, two. Easy. Matt Gomes. There you go. MG. With the early bird spot. The early bird catches the worm. All right, so let's put his name here. And now in a new dice roll... Let's figure out uh, random team assignments here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a three. Six the hard way. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got Chris Miller all the way down to Ryan Harold. Hard six for the teams. Four, five, and six. There you go. After six times, we've got the Texas Rangers down to the Tigers. Remember, if you're watching live, that groupbreakchecklist.com checklist is in the chat. All right, Chris with the Rangers, SKS with the Marlins, Ryan with the Rockies, Jackie got the Braves, Zach G with the A's, Brandon with the White Sox, Matt with the Diamondbacks, Matt Stubblefield, last spot Mojo, Blue Jays, Justin Larson, Pirates, Mary, you have the Phillies, Michael with the Cubs, Brandon with the Mariners, Colton with the Royals, Michael with the Giants, David with the Indians, uh, and the Cardinals, Richard with the Nats, David Baker with the Rays, Jeremy with the Reds, Matt Gomes with the Brew Crew, SKS with the Red Sox, Colton with the Mets, Matt with your early bird spot, the Yankees, nice. Zach G with the Twins, Jeremy with the O's, Ryan with the Angels, uh, Mark, you have the Astros, Joe with the Padres, Mary, you have my Dodgers, and Ryan, last but not least, Tigers. All right, so let's alphabetize by team here. Now feel free to trade. While you're trading, I'm going to pop open that case right over here. Everyone can see, right, okay. We're going to see which inner case we're going to do. I know it's kind of hard to see on that camera, but you can see L and R on the inner cases. So I'm going to select a die. I'm going to select that one. Nice Dodger blue right there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. The die is just off camera and it's one. So we're going to do the left side right here. So let me go grab the left one. There you go. So the left side is the one we'll be doing. There you have it. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and allow for, uh, for a little extra trading time. I know it's a brand new release, so you can, people might want to get familiar with the, uh, with the team list and whatnot. So there you go. Trade away. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end, no deals were done. All right, we got a baseball draft coming up a little bit later tonight too, so that should be a lot of fun. All right, 12 box inner random team one on the 10th. Thanks everyone for uh, joining us and making us part of your day. Appreciate it. All right, so let's pop this guy open here. Let's see what we got in here. Now the draft is only like, what, a couple rounds this year? 
or maybe five rounds, it's very short, as opposed to the dozens of rounds they usually do. A lot of, there'll be a lot of, a lot of kids without jobs, but then they're also doing like, there's like a weird undrafted free agent sort of thing, so there's been talk about teams, about teams trying to game the system a little bit, where they kind of don't really make a big first round draft pick, you know, and they just they'll just draft an un an undrafted free agent and just kind of roll with that. So I get every organization will be different, but I guess that's some of the rumblings that I've that I've been hearing. You know, they think they might be able to get him for cheaper without signing bonuses and stuff. So we'll see. Two autographs or memorabilia per box on average. There you go. That's the the usual right here. The usual design that we're that we've been used to. I can't tell who's. I can't tell who that is. <laughs> it doesn't say on the box. Slippery packs there. Is that Sam using on the box? That's right, Joe Flores. On average. They're all on average. Now, I personally kind of like this. If you like all the kings designs, you know what I mean? Diamond kings, court kings, gridiron kings are all, they're all related. They're all cousins. If you like this design, then I think you're going to enjoy, you're going to enjoy diamond kings. Yeah, the canvas texture I really like too. Again, I think it's remnant. All the King's products are definitely like that. Sort of an artsy look. A painting kind of look, that matte canvas finish. Something I've enjoyed over the years. All right. We'll go a little bit slower on the first box just so we can get a good look at everything. Got those framed autos as well. Kind of a old, uh, I guess a tobacco card design here, which I also dig. And there are the backs. Artist palette, Javier Baez, Eloy. And our first hit is 21 out of 50, Ken Griffey Jr. Dual relic for Cincinnati. Red legs on the board early. Jeremy with the Reds. All right, red Reds on. The, oh, there he is, Sam Musil. some of these frames could be different colors and then they'll be serial numbered and all that. And we got Michael King. Two color dual relic and autograph for the New York Mets. I think it's the Mets. Let me double check. That's why I have the checklist up. No, Yankees. That blue makes it a little, little, usually they match the colors up nicely, but. All right, so that goes to Matt Gomes. 
with the New York Yankees. So the one bad thing about no logos. It looks like a bluish color. Usually you'll be able to tell by that. But. Here's Ted Williams. The DK Originals design. And there's one of the different colored frames right there, Jake Rogers, not numbered, but different parallel for the frame. And Ted Williams back there. All right, box one in the books. Not too bad. Let's pop open another one. Now we can speed up the break a tiny bit. Sure is, Patrick. I've got I've got the TV tuned to MLB. Remember when you have to when you used to have to tune your TVs to a but I've got it tuned to MLB network. Looks like it's gonna start round one will start in about an hour and forty minutes. We might be in the middle of our second Diamond Kings break by then. This should take about an hour. Might be on our second case and watch the first part of the draft. Anyone got any draft day news for us? Who's supposed to be projected number one? These are the guys we'll see in Bowman draft later this year. Although traditionally, they usually are able to get these players into like single A or rookie ball or something like that, but I don't know if these players are gonna see any any actual gameplay. Maybe Arizona Fall League. There's Lewis Thorpe. And we got a Juan Soto Jersey Kings relic for Richard. Richard Dunn with the Nets. Honus Wagner frame for the Pirates. And looks like we've got Zach Collins. Dual relic and autograph for the White Sox. Nice. Plays basketball and baseball. Zach Collins. White Sox, that'll be for Brandon Walker. There's Melot for the New York Baseball Giants. Next box. Patrick Goodwin saying Spencer Torkelson is projected to go number one in the draft. Looks like there's a new, uh, the players, I uh, saw that this morning, the Players Association proposed an 89-game schedule in a latest offer to the MLB. Hopefully they just get that deal done. Let's just get it done, guys. Matt Harvey has received KBO and NPB Korea and Japan Baseball League interest. Well, 
looks like the Pirates released a bunch of minor leaguers today. All right, next box. We got Zach Gallen, two color relic and autograph for the Diamondbacks. Matt Gomes with the Snakes. I think the MLB Players Association, their latest plan, I think, uh, also includes an expanded playoff field. Which I haven't read the details on that, but it should be interesting. And Craig Biggio is your Jersey Kings for the Astros. Mark L. with the Strohs. Joe Flores is saying, did you see NBA is thinking of putting NBA 2K fan noise on TV while games are being played? That's pretty cool. It sounds pretty realistic, doesn't it? Is that being, is that being pumped into this, the arenas as well? I think one interesting thing out of all this crazy, the pandemic craziness, is the interesting things that live, that live sports will bring. Like I want to see like, there was a, there was a uh, Korean baseball game that I was watching that had like stuffed animals in the in the seats behind home plate, like Pikachu's and Snorlaxes and. Power Rangers and all this sort of stuff. I thought that was kind of hilarious. I like the cardboard cutout ideas. I think they've they've talked about about having maybe a select number of fans being uh, video conferenced in to provide crowd noise or cheers and jeers. So there's been all sorts of ideas that are I think are interesting. Not yet, Jennifer. We've got some solid stuff here, but nothing monstrous yet. This is just our first break of the day. Were there blow-up dolls too in the KBO? See, that'd be kind of funny. I think that'd be that'd be sort of hilarious. Oh, and that team got a massive fine. Well, hey, KBO, no fun league. There's Travis Demerit, dual relic and autograph, Tigers, Ryan Harold. I think we got our, did we get our two? Oh no, that was from the previous box. I think there might be one more relic in here. Yeah, there's one more. It's Jordan Yamamoto. And we've got a Shohei Otani quad relic. Nice. Domingo Leyva. Oh, and you, you mean in the soccer league? FC Seoul. Seoul would be the, the soccer team that's there. That's funny, though.
I'm looking forward. I'm 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 looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to to creative ways to to kind of fill like the background for TV at least, you know. All right, so MLB draft. I got some info here. Will take place in an unusual fashion this year, according to MLBTradeRumors.com. This year's 2020 Rule 4 Amateur Selection Show will launch at 5 Eastern, but it will be held remotely and end after only five rounds, well shy of the typical 40-round affair. Bonus is capped as usual, but they won't be paid up front. Players can only receive 100 k to the on the outset, with the rest deferred to the 2021-22 season. Three days from now, draft-eligible players that went unselected will be eligible to sign. None can sign for more than $20,000. Which is kind of crazy because we looked this up the other day, uh, or a few weeks ago, I think. I think like if you get picked like in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, you know, you can still be eligible for bonuses upwards of five hundred thousand dollars, if not more. There's Strasburg dual relic. So the fact that teams can sign players for twenty thousand dollars, that's significant savings for the big business but not good for the players. There's Strasburg, Richard with the Nets. Can you imagine? You've been working your way towards professional baseball your entire life. Sacrificing so many things, social life, all that sort of stuff, maybe even academics. If you're thinking of going right out of high school or whatever and you're like, hey, I'm projected sixth, seventh round. You know, bang, I could get few hundred thousand dollars right out of the gate and then nope 20. Nine out of 99 you got Hall of Famer Barry Larkin another red for Jeremy Agno. DK Originals autograph. Nice he's got a good looking auto. There's the Kino frame. And are there any card price guides you would recommend? Yes. I would recommend uh, ebay.com. And search under sold items, and that will give you your price guides. All right, next box. Yeah, actually, an easier, that's a good point, David. The, the easier way to look at eBay sold sales, go to 130point.com, 130point.com. I think someone, I think Rory maybe, Rory Wagner maybe told me about that website a few years ago. But the, the user interface was kind of terrible. But I think they changed it within the last, like, six, eight months. So the website interface is a lot easier to use. And um, it searches completed items, sold items, and buy it now prices, which usually doesn't appear on eBay, but you can find buy it now prices as well, or best offer prices. So 130point.com. It's a good resource that any, any card collector worth their salt should have that bookmarked. That and cardboardconnection.com and groupratechecklist.com. If you want to be a sharp collector, if you want to be a square collector, that's okay too. There's no right or wrong way to collect. There's Pete Alonzo frame. And we got Jordan Alvarez, 17 out of 25. Three color dual relic going to Mark L.
Nick Solak, dual relic and autograph. That's for the Rangers. That's going to be for Chris Miller and the Rangers. Nice, Rory. What's going on? Next, good luck. Continuing on the draft, the atypical circumstances only increase the potential for wild out outcomes. It might feel like normal at the top of the MLB draft, where the scuttlebutt is that the Tigers will kick things off by taking ASU first base, uh, first base from Spencer Torkelson, but things get weird quickly thereafter. There have been some chatter that a team could even punt the draft, perhaps even one that has a fairly lofty draft position per RJ Anderson of CBS Sports. Baseball America's J.J. Cooper examined that possibility, concluding it likely doesn't make much sense for a team to pursue. I don't know, but we'll find out. Jennifer, if, if, you, if you rewind the chat a little bit, you can rewind the video a little bit. and You can see it's 130point.com. All right, next box. Tony Gonsolin frame. And we got Paul Molitor at Bat Kings. Goes to Matt Gomes, piece of Paul Molitor's lumber. Got a Trent Grisham, Padres, dual relic and autograph. Who's got the fries? Joe Flores on the board. There's Nick Solak again for the Rangers. Next box. Any other fun, uh, fun draft related news? These are the guys we'll see in Bowman draft. The, so the Tigers are taking Spencer Torkelson, according to most mock drafts, from Arizona State. The Orioles, possibly Austin Martin, center fielder from Vanderbilt. Miami Marlins, Asa Lacey. Royals, Zach Veen. Blue Jays, Max Meyer. Those that could be your top five right there.
All right, Wade Boggs, Bat Kings. Red Sox edition going to SKS. Piece of old Boggsy's lumber. Uh, the Cubs have taken nobody in the draft, Rex. They're the 16th pick, and the draft starts about an hour and 19 minutes and 30 seconds, according to MLB Network. Sean Murphy, A's, dual relic and autograph. Zach Gwynn. But according to Fangraphs.com, they've projected Patrick Bailey, a catcher out of North Carolina State, as their as a possible uh, as a possible pick. Yeah, the tobacco cards are nice. The Are they specifically off the T206 or is it just a generic tobacco card vibe? I don't know, either way I like it. Initially when they first did the mock-ups for it, I was just like, eh. <laughs> but the 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 final the final design seems pretty good. Oh, they call it two two oh six on the group. Okay, yeah, they look nice. That's that would be a fun uh, that'd be a fun set to build. All the players on that T two oh six list. Who does Fangrass have the Dodgers taking? Tanner Witt, a uh, right-handed pitcher out of uh, Episcopal High School in Texas. I don't know if there's a case hit situation in Diamond Kings. I forget from last year. There's Garrett Cole, quad relic, Yankees. That will be for Matt. AJ Puck, dual relic and autograph. A's, Zach. Box. Now for the baseball draft folks, it's the uh, first two picks should be interesting for us hobby-wise. 
the number one pick is usually has traditionally been featured Bowman draft pretty heavily, and then the number two pick usually gets held and saved for Bowman baseball the following spring. So in this case, um, we saw I think Adley Rushman was was the key one. He was the number one pick last year, so he was featured a lot in Bowman draft. And then you see Bobby Witt Jr. in a lot of the number two picks in a lot of uh, our Bowman baseball stuff. Which we have some of it still available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, Diamond Icons has a dual patch auto for Nolan Ryan, Rangers edition and Astros edition. That's good multiple ways to get the Ryan Express. We have 39 out of 99, Ronald Bolanos for the uh, Padres. That's going to go to Joe Flores and the Friars. There are those 206 cards. Domingo Leyba. I don't know why you were flipped around. Maybe a variation. Goes to Matt Gomes. Of all the frames in flipped around? There's Roostar Greater All. I think they have them. And Mel Ott. Just haven't flipped around for some reason. And we've got a Pete Alonzo autograph, eight out of fifty, in that tobacco card format, the T two hundred six design. That is slick. That goes to Colton Carver in the New York Mets. Yeah, not not bad at all. Man, it'd be it'd be hashtag good for the hobby if Pete Alonzo. What if he wins the MVP this year? Would that be hashtag good for the hobby? Ah, oh, this must be a case hit from downtown, Bryce Harper, or at least a super short print. Love those downtown cards. Phillies, Mary. With the fight in Phil's, that's exactly what downtown Philadelphia looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Declaration of Independence is there. Ben Franklin hangs around there. We got colonial, colonially dressed guys and horses running around. So that's exactly what downtown Philadelphia looks like. In case you've never been there, that's a spitting image right there. Now you, you don't need to go to Philadelphia anymore. There it is. You saw it. But those that downtown cards have been a nice introduction into these various sets. I dig it. Royce is Yelich MVP 2020, but does that help us with the hobby? How much how much does that add to Yelich's uh, rookie cards? Like Pete Alonzo could be could be a big see a big uptick in price.
Oh, we, that's right, Sean. We are talking polar bear conservation efforts. There's Aaron Judge, dual relic. So I feel like you win a rookie of the year, you win an MVP the following year. There's Matt with the Yankees. Be a nice, nice boost in value. Hashtag good for the hobby. And we've got Danny Mendick. Dual relic and autograph for the White Sox. That's going to be for Brandon in Chicago, the Southsiders. Last box coming up. No, we're we're keeping Rex. We're keeping him in check, so he so he's not drunk with his newfound power. Final box, random team one, our first inner case of the day. The second inner case, or it's going to happen right after this. And then uh, we'll go through some more orders and see, uh, what, see what's coming up next. Oh, I saw Rex was early saying, the only thing about Bowman Draft you don't like takes three to five years to see their picks get their starts. That's, see, that's the, it's a long game. That's the, that's the thing, that's the beauty of baseball. Especially with those early releases, it's the long game. But if you pick the right player, and there could be there could be huge return on investments in baseball. All right. Not true, Rex. So the, Hats are already massive. Jersey Kings, White Sox, Brandon. And we got Dylan Cease, dual relic and autograph for the White Sox. It's for Brandon. And looks like that is that. Do I have to give away anything in this break or anything like that? I don't think so. Just the early bird spot in this break. Very nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Random Team 1 in the books. Brand new 2020 Diamond Kings Baseball. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time. Should we do a recap? We might as well. Kind of a longer video. So here's a quick... Those downtown cards look pretty sharp. I'm a fan of those. In any set. Looks a little more, a little more refractory in that in this Diamond Kings edition. That Pete Alonzo autograph back there was nice too. So some pretty strong hits popping, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us once again. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time.